Okay, let's run the program. Alex. Okay, it's starting. Let's guess a character. A, L, Q. Oh no, we don't have a Q. Let's try R, P, N, E. Yeah, we won. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to code line by line how to create a hangman game in Python like this. I'm going to go from a complete beginner level so you can understand each and every line, how it works and interacts. I'm keeping the code as simple as possible. Uh, you could, of course, create it fancier and draw the hangman in reality and not just um, use this. But this only comes down to actually drawing it or uh, typing in how the hangman should look like. But the code would still stay pretty much the same. So, without losing any time, let's get into it. So, let's start by just giving some input to the user. So, how can we do that? Uh, let's declare a variable called name. And let's get an input from the user. We could start with something like, tell us your name. What is your name? Question mark. After the user types in the name into the CLI, it will be saved in the variable name. So, after that, we can print something like, hello and we can also uh, add the name we have just received so if the user is Marcus then we will have a hello Marcus okay we could print some space here what we could do after this is wait for a second or two before starting the game so we could call the module time and call sleep on it to sleep for one second. In order to do that, we will need to import the module time. So that's what we have done here. We have imported time. Now we could print something. We could also skip this step, but let's print something like start playing dot dot dot. After that, we could again have uh, a time dot sleep for let's say 0 0.2 seconds after that we need to declare the word that we are going to be guessing so let's say our word is plane so this is the word that has to be guessed now we need also to declare a variable named guesses which will include all the characters the players are guessing and we will also need a limit for how many turns the player can play, which we will set to 10, for example. There is, of course, a better way to declare those variables in a nicer way, but we want to create a hangman game as simple and as fast as possible, so I'm just going to write it down line by line. Now we will need some type of loop to go through the iterations. For example, when the player types in a character, then the character is going to be evaluated, something is going to be printed back, but we need to repeat that, we need to uh, loop through those cycles. So what we can do here is create a while loop and declare while turns is greater than zero. So we are starting with 10 turns and we are going to subtract one turn every time the user guesses the word wrong so when the turns have reached zero we are going to exit the game and the user has failed so we can declare a variable failed to zero now we need to go character by character through the word and check if the character is contained inside the word so we have a for loop for character in word and what this is going to do it's going to loop through each character inside the word here plain in this case and in each loop the character is going to have one of those values so in the first loop it's going to be p in the second l then a then n and then e so while we are looping uh, we can check if the character is in 
guesses. So if it's inside of guesses, we can print the character else we can print something like this and we will need to add our failed plus one because we guessed the character wrong so now uh, we also need to have a check for the failed if it equals to zero this means that we have one and we can print something like yeah you won great and after that we can also break and exit the while loop because we want to terminate the game when the user wins uh, we need to continue playing the game so this means we need to accept characters each and every turn so for that we will again need our input function and we are going to store the value inside the guess uh, variable so guess is going to be equal to input and now guess a character colon so uh, now when the user is again prompted to guess a character this character will be saved inside the guess variable we are also not checking what the input is the user could maybe guess uh, multiple characters but we want to make the game as simple as possible so for now we are going to leave that out uh, what we are going to do is to add the new character to our guesses so this means guesses is equal guesses plus guess a more convenient way to write it down now we can check if guess is not in the word then we are going to uh, lower the number of turns we have left for one turn and we are going to print something like you guessed wrong we could also uh, print the number of turns the player has left so we will write something like you have only turns left and we also need to check of course if the number of turns is equal to zero then we are going to print you lose because there are no more turns to be played so that should ramp it up let's try to run it in order to run it you can just type in python and the name of the file we have created in this case it's hangman.py okay there is a little error okay i forgot to add a colon here let's try again type in python hangman.py what is your name so let's type in my name as you can see there is this little delay because of the function time.sleep we used earlier so now let's guess a character let's guess a the most used character so it guessed correctly uh, let's guess A again, nothing happens. Let's guess E, we have E as well. Let's get something like Q. You guessed wrong, you have only nine turns left. We could write turns here. Um, but it is working, so let's type in V. Again, we have less turns, Z less turns, T less turns. Let's type in P, L, a we just need an n and yeah we win and we exit the game so that's the basic setup to creating a hangman game in python thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and you could have followed along and i kept my pace right as you like it so if you liked the video consider liking and subscribing there is a lot more content like this coming up so thank you for watching once again and have a nice day